Okay. I am recording it, so we may go. First one, Zachy. You can hear it? Make sure the yeah, make sure the quality's up all the way on all the videos that way. 4K, bro. I'll, I'll go down one. My computer can't handle it. That's a crazy intro so far. What's the timestamp right now? Huh? What's the timestamp right now? Oh, we're at, uh, 42. Are you watching it through Discord? Yeah, where else would I be watching it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're almost a minute in. We got the German gameplay. I don't know who Orbit is. I don't know if that's his account. Are you able to turn down the audio a little bit? Because I can't hear you. Yeah. Let me know if you need it more. Here we go. The triple. The D2. Synced up good, dude. It's all emotional, too. Some nice trickle downs of the snipers. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know a single person he's playing though. I don't know if he's Xbox. This is a D2. Yeah. There you go. That's synced up real nice. Was that dude German? That was German, yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't know. What did you rate it out of 10? Or what do you like and what do you don't like? Well, I definitely like the, uh, the editing and the cinematics, the way it's uh, paced out with the cinematics and the song and the pacing and everything. Yeah. To me, it's more of like a... A cinematic montage, cinematic montage. The uh, Seven Columns was pretty dope. Yeah. But uh, my thing was Seven Columns and was the Golden Golden Guns. Gun, yeah. Golden, Golden Guns a little bit of a cop out. But yeah. even was, look at this right here. This is clean. This little transition. That looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't. I, I was trying to uh, forget about that. I didn't notice that. That uh, so he had he had someone come in there and get a, a third person perspective. On. I like the uh, I don't know what POV had or third person POV had of the hunter right there as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely very beautiful. That's like that's not doing me off right there because like it has it to where it's like slowed or not. Uh, yeah, and he then doesn't it have just... it sped up to the snipe. Or whatever he has sped up right before the snipe, and then it like it looks if you, unless he you know what's going him. on, obviously. Yeah, he's not and, on and his it looks, head. <laughs> it looks like he sniped him from fucking eight foot away, basically. But yeah. knowing D one, that is still possible. Yeah, quick little drag. But like, like, like in the edit, like I, 
I mean, I'm looking at it on my phone right now, so it's a little bit small, but that's like, yeah. oh, life ruined up in this respect. Let's react to that. So definitely a good entry. Definitely good yeah. quality. All right, next one. That was, that was like 30, 35 seconds of intro. Oh, they both went in 4K. Yeah, the intro was kind of long, but there was clips. There was filler clips going on. So. I do like that. What are, is that a, that's got to be a blender thing. This, I don't know what... This is D2. No, not that. Not, this is not D2. That. Oh, is that a cinematic? Or a cutscene or something? That's probably an emote. Oh, it just edited he super heavily? Yeah. Yeah. This was cool, too. New worlds. Going on the wall. Yeah. The text. I don't even know. Uh, this might be Blender. I don't know what this is, but... Well, it, he could also just have like a second person recording him walking, getting his shadow on the wall. Yeah. I don't and know. then he just puts on that. Uh, the shadow text. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. And it's got voices. Let me know if it's too loud. It's also pretty emotional so far. That's mega pretty. Mega pretty. Who edited this? Voices, I think. Voices, alright. That's just crazy. Everything's synced. Dude's got 14 filters. It does yeah, look but it, good, I mean, though. That's not a bad thing, though. I like, I like if you can pull it off clean. Let's do for boys clips. There you go. Oh, that was short and sweet, but that was really pretty and everything was synced. I don't know. I have to, I have to, watch, the, I have to watch the clips on that again. But I didn't realize it was so short, yeah. so I was waiting. I really like here. The, like, every single bullet lines the up. The visual, I like the, uh, when he's in dark room or whatever it's called in D2 now, I don't know. And he's on Stormcaller and it's a third person view of the melee. Yeah, yeah. For a second. Yeah, I like that. This uh, right here which, is crazy, how he's got the... Which, go back to that clip actually, that, with the melee, because, with the third person view, wait for that to come up, right there, that, so that melee, that melee... You see how the animation, that animation means that there's a person. So would that mean that there's three people in that lobby helping them out? Because yeah. yeah. And also, how are they getting these, uh, they're getting these clips. Like, how, how are they, they're getting these clips with no, uh, these third person clips with no HUD. Like D1, you know? I don't know what you're talking about with that. Like this right here, no HUD? Yeah. He's got these black bars up pretty high. That's true. I guess it is. I guess the FOV on that thing is like on that is like 13. You could do no HUD and you do double machine gun and you just swap really quick. And it won't come up. Yeah. It's tough. Maybe about the weapon swap. This part I, I love. It. It's like a, the with the music. It's hard to do an auto rifle and sync it like that. That's really good. That's I would that apostate sniper. I wish I like that thing because it's the dopest looking sniper in D two. Yeah, yeah. But now this is doofus. I don't know who who had the D two clips. I don't know who this even is playing. Milch guns. I don't know who that is. It could be him. The it thing with the... Uh, you can change your name on yeah. Destiny 2. I'm not Doofa, though. He's going hard as usual. Doofa? Oh, Doofa boy. He was in Azimuth the 8. But where's Doofa's special thanks, though? <laughs> Left my man out. That was good. That was good. That was really I pretty. Definitely. And really synced up. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely, definitely like the, uh, 
visual aspects of that one more. I'll have to get a second take on the clips. The clips were all pretty nasty. I won't Cause it, like trying to follow and find and find the pacing of the clips. I think without the editing. This clip, this guy. This clips might go a little harder because it's just one person the whole time. It's just one guy's clips. It's a little more respectable than having the whole gang, but nonetheless. There's another different guy. Well, are we are we judging this purely off the the edit or the clips as well by the person or the clips? Everything, bro. Everything. Everything. That's, I mean, that's, that's what I was. The clips, the saying. edit. It's all just the. Uh, that's why everyone gets to vote because it's all. Yeah. All varies in. So now we got this little tiny one. I think this is uh, Alethes. Oh, I'm not sure he got his full submission in, but. Oh, I don't know if that was a breaker or not. That's pretty. Dude, that looks like it's about to be heat, and then it just cuts off. Yeah. Let's see, does he have... It could, it could be, the video could be something, but like, I, I don't know. Oh, this is a different video. No. Alright. Now we got the last guy. You ready? Yep. Special guest clips here. I won't name any names, but really sweaty guy. I can already tell <laughs> by the math <laughs> who it is. <laughs> Saying that seventy-four percent of my clips are hit on Frontier, whatever that's called. Yeah. Oh, this is uh. Piranha. This is just uh, a resubmission. In my resubmission, uh. Re-edit? Is this video... What the hell? Is this video, uh... Come out before the... Tournament? No, it came out during. During? Alright. That shot was crazy on Terry. Tallywag spanks Terry every time. Wow. I don't know, dude. Despite you being in that one, I really do just like that edit a lot. Ooh. It's just very pretty and nothing like. I don't think there's another D1 montage that looks like it. The other, the other one is pretty standard, uh, like type of type of vibe. It's all. There's a lot of montages like that. This is a little more like party mode. It's a lot different pace. I've seen too. all of these clips hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> I have edited these so many times. I like the way he did it though. He speeds it up. It is true. You can't really see and appreciate the trick shot for what it is. Yeah, no, there's... Now, there's definitely some where it's, some like trick shots that are drag scopes. Yeah, like right there, I can see the reticle cut a little bit. The cut, like he made it look really frames. fast on everything, but it works. Wow! And he missed the shot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you already know. You already know. <laughs> but oh man, <laughs> I kind of honestly, well, let's do a double take. Let's just do a quick, quick reminder. I 
I don't know who's gonna take the cake, dude. I can still hear you. What are you feeling? Um, I like We're gonna have to come to some sort of mutual decision. I think this one, visually, visually is probably the most pretty. This is definitely the prettiest looking one. I don't even know if you call all this stuff, but they got the little grains and the little light on the stuff. There's a lot of visual work with this. And it does sync up perfect. They're all synced pretty well. Yeah, this is Voices. I was going to say, Voices, definitely off the cinematics, I uh, I like the, the edit, I think, the most for Voices, the clips. See, I'm real partial to clips as well. I care about what people are hitting as well. I think this guy, I mean, your clips obviously are the craziest because no one's hitting trick shots, but this guy really did go hard with his clips. It's all the cleanest, like, yeah. one of three snipes. All Elim. So, you know, it's a, it's old clips, too, because nobody plays Elim now. Yeah, that's, I don't really care. Uh, man, I wish Elim was still alive, though. Unfortunately, yeah. it's not. Did uh, the first video that we watched, um, did it have the third person yeah. perspective? It didn't too? I, I kind of thought it. Like this, but it was yeah. very subtle about it. Like this, uh, right here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that full screen cool. that? Go back and full screen that? It's like a wallpaper. Well, I'm not going to screenshot it. I just want to see... Yeah, that's just nice. Yeah, this is nice, yeah. I like how that looks. This one too, I really like this one the best. Yeah. Oh no, I think, I think, this one's, this one definitely has, uh, the, out of any video that I can think of, I'm sure there's other montages that have done it as well, to this level, but I can't think of any, I haven't seen any recently that have, uh, third person uh clips especially d1 nobody really that are, that well anymore. i mean better like that nice i mean like better like that because uh, you and i do it um but i and i do it as well but i don't have the software or, with me to be able to edit shit that heavily yeah but yet, slow it down speed it up put the color correction blur the blur outside the character different, the different filters and different packs you can get yeah I don't know, I feel like this one is really good. It's just a little slept on the way it is. I think there's a lot going on here that you just don't think about because it goes so quick. Yeah, that's why I haven't uh, given too many of my opinions about the clips so far is because yeah. every time I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like if there's like four seconds in between a snipe, but it's like just like you cut out like three steps, that's like a quarter second, you know? Let's try and cut out a little bit of downtime for the clip. Listen the... closely to this. Ready? Mm -hmm. He goes fantastic. Oh, standing. and they like they modify the audio. I didn't see anyone else do that. And so every golden gun shot, he had to cut out individually and then cut out the Shaq's audio separate and modify that. That's a lot. 
it's a lot of audio work that you don't think about. It just seems nice as you go through it. I'm also like looking for, of course, I don't know everything when it comes to all the different editing softwares, but I do have some with an eye for like pre-made stuff, a little bit of track and uh, things that like this, someone this made. This might not at be pre-made, time. but this has like the same filter on every shot, even though it does look pretty. It's a little different, like this little squiggle might go away, but no, it's the same squiggle right here, you know, but it is pretty. Yeah. No. That I mean, it's hard to hard to beat that though. The Luna syncing up. How many how many kills is this right here? Oh, this is just a three man with the auto. This I think is only a, a three man as well, but it looks like it. He bodies the guy and his teammate steals the kill. The thing, I don't really know how to judge this, though, off clips, because it's all different people. Yeah, that's why one thing with, with this video, is that, uh... It's like one or two clips from everybody, from like four or five people. So there's definitely a lot of, a lot of people who worked on this one, though. Yeah, well, I'm... I mean, how many people edited it? I mean, it doesn't really... I guess just... It doesn't take that much work voices. to drag and drop a, a file. But, uh, there's someone... Like a video file. But, editing it, I mean... Obviously that takes... Hours. Yeah. Yeah, and on top of that, I gotta find out who this was. Because if, if this is Zaki's account... I mean, that's pretty respectable to have all your own clips and your own edit. That's rare. That's rare. I'm gonna be honest, unless Alethi can get his full video in, I don't know if there's a chance for this one. I don't know if there's a chance for it. Um, this one, though. I feel like the cinematics, it didn't have many cinematics, but all the clips and, and the rave edit, I like. And even this, I feel like editing something like this is normally like pretty cringy. Oh, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually, like, this is pretty cringy, but he pulls it off. Like, the little slideshow effects. What do you think is normally pretty cringy about this? Oh, uh, this part. Where the screen, like, spins around. That's tough to make uh, work. It's tough to yeah. make work and not be like... I don't know. Like, Windows Movie Maker type stuff. But he pulls it off hard. I almost forgot for a split second that these are my clips. I did ask. I gotta say though, like, all three of these are bangers. And there's a lot going on with the edit here on that last clip, especially. It's like the outlines and then the blurs. And it's all got motion blur on it. It looks very pretty. The glass shatter. It's just very dark, so it's hard to see anything. Yeah. Yeah, when I was watching this, watching this video, uh, when he first posted it, that was about the only thing is that I had to turn my brightness all the way up on my phone to go to watch the video. I kind of like it though, it's got its own look. Its whole montage is very unique. Can you turn down a little bit? I can hear you. Yeah, this whole montage I think is really unique from 
most every montage these days is kind of kind of standard uh you know some some lady singing and very slow and very shots of the grass shots of this this is just like it is what it is it's a couple shots but I like the edit a lot when he starts changing up the colors. Yeah, yeah, it goes rainbow. Yeah. Right here. I like the whole thing, but I mean, I like whatever. Man, if, if you really wanted to freaking swoon me with the colors of the video, you should just blue purple. Blue this is purple, the way to do purple. it. Man, if I, if you would have if you would have made this video when I was in fifth grade and, saw, and I would have saw red, man, I would have freaked over red. Yeah, I mean, this guy, basic. he did definitely the trippy, uh, the trippy rainbows without overdoing it. Yeah. Very well. So it's tough to say. It's tough to say between the three of them who gets first, who gets second. This one is definitely... Definitely very good, but I feel like it, like at this point it doesn't have a lot going on. But it is a build up. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of crossfade into nothing. I feel like it didn't need it. I guess that's the whole vibe of this video is it's very panned out. It's a very panned out video. Stuff like this is cool. And what's hard with this video is like the uh the edit's good but um it's not uh, obviously, in my opinion, as pretty as voices would be, like all the cinematics and stuff like that. But uh, and like the editing. But the, see, the thing is, is these are all these clips. Yeah, the clips. <laughs> or I think, hard. or at least they're all one person. I don't know if they, the clips go so but... hard, and it is one person. I feel like what you're talking about, like the cinematics right here. Uh, once it starts, the cinematics. Uh, end up being pretty good. It just doesn't have as many filters on it, and it's only it's so brief. And he doesn't yeah. do it between every clip. He doesn't do it between every clip, and that makes a big difference. But he does it right here. Yeah, I do like the I do like the pacing of this video. Yeah, it's old school. It's not it's not right in your face with it. And it's about gameplay. A lot of it's about gameplay in this one. He's frying people, man. I mean, everybody's... That was a nice quick snap. Yeah. This one's kind of, kind of similar, but it's a little faster. Yeah. How much... How hard, how much work, you see how like all the colors and effects, like how it, like the contrast and lighting is all different. How much work is that? It depends. Is that a lot of work? It depends if he's doing a, a preset or if he's doing it by hand. A lot of what I do is I'll do it by hand for like, because I've done so many videos and then I'll save it as my own preset because I don't like getting the packs. I feel like they'll mess your computer up sometimes. Yeah. So I and I don't want to pay like fifty dollars for an effects pack. So I just do it by hand, and then save my own presets. But if he's doing it by hand, it could be a lot. But like for him to be, it's orange here and it's blue here. But it, the only thing is, it's got the same, it's got the same little whatever these camera scratches are called. It's got the same one on every clip, so it could just be a like a copy paste, and he just changes the color. 
Well, that's kind of what I'm. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling. Cause I'm trying to. But this, you know, like you can't deny that this is hand hand edited right here. No, no, no. There's definitely. I mean, the editing and you know, getting the clips to look like I'm. Just this. forget about like the visual appearance of the clips, like how the clips are moving, like how they're edited, how like they go from zoom to one clip to the next, slow down, speed up. Obviously, that is all a lot of editing. That is that's a lot, a lot of work. Yeah, just this filter. He's got this filter on the whole video, and I guess you know, teach their own. Teach their own. That's just a look he was going for, and it looks pretty. So, okay, so are we supposed to be doing this from an opinion or a non-opinionated point of view? Like, we're trying to look at it as fundamental or what our heart and what, like, what we are feeling, essentially? Well, both. Both. What do you feel with your heart? See, what do you feel I with like your heart? how... Hold on. Because that's the problem. I like I like each video for very separate reasons, and all of them, each of them check like different boxes that are important to me, and then leave some unchecked, and then yeah. the other ones fill them, and but then the other one and leave other things open. Now, what then from from just a fundamental point do you think is the best? Yeah, there I am. Someone killed me in his clip. That's funny. Well, my personal my opinion about. Uh, when it comes to montages that have, they go from like shot to shot to shot, and it just like it like speeds up in between shots and like slows down for the shot, or um, and like I don't know. Voice has had it in his video. Um, see, like this, this right here, this is pacing is this is my preferred type of pacing because I also want people that don't know what is really going on in the game to be able to watch it and understand yeah this is that's bit. what I'm saying this is all about gameplay this video yeah well the edit the, the editing is still good it just doesn't have like the pretty effects that I like from voices but that's why I'm I mean it does that's what I was trying to figure though. out like this right here is beautiful yeah oh yeah for like, sure no I right definitely here, like these barricades yeah. being blurred is not destiny this is afterwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, well, yeah, I know. I play Destiny all the time. <laughs> I just played enough, enough. Yeah. But that's all I was asking you with voices, how hard uh, the visual effects are to get those filters and stuff, because if that's only like five, ten minutes of work, you know, and he just does it for the whole video and just changes it up every few. Here's the thing. is like, <laughs> brightness and contrast the color correction that could all be handmade and he just has these little this little camera scratches to give it like it's like it's consistent to keep it consistent that's okay but like even this these little streaks of light right here i don't know if you can see it too well yeah I there's do. like light coming out of everything yeah no i see it looks like uh like a bloodshot eye. This part is amazing to me, though. Every shot with the Luna syncs up, and it... yeah, this is very well done. Imagine your 140 hand cannon shot that fast. Oh my <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got it blurred here and unblurs. I mean, that's probably handmade. Like this probably took a lot of editing. I won't lie. Since you have more experience with the. Uh... Who do you, if you were to look at, out of all these videos, who do you think put in the most time editing? Oh, hold on. This probably had, that. this is definitely up there. Yeah. The thing is, I can't really say how much time, because someone might be on a different time than someone else, you know? Yeah, it's like the video, the video that I'm making right now, I've remade it three times. I've got so much time wrapped up in this video. 
I'm working on it now. I've changed the song multiple times, re organized it every time. I'll say Voices probably seems like the most experienced, or the most, at least, mm, with, with most, the ed- uh, With the yeah, editing, yeah, yeah, editing for sure, I would but say he's... The- he's got it locked in. Like, he's got a formula locked in that he knows what to do. I've never seen any of these guys' other videos except Piranha, so... I don't have anything to compare with their own work, but... I don't... I would say that Voices editing and his style and the appearance of it not the clips and what's going on but the editing of it i would say is uh very on quite on level with uh something that a big streamer or youtuber would have commissioned yeah and have made by some somebody else that's the one thing i love about this montage though is is there's nothing wrong with this and it is pretty it's beautiful but this edit that piranha did is very unique very unique, and I feel like you never see a big streamer or anyone really, even a small streamer. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. So this video, this video is giving me like very like, like the editing is obviously like change at the times, like things got nicer looking, but just the song, the pacing, the transitions, the color, everything is just what and like the uh, the shine of the color is giving me very early. Uh, 2010s montage vibes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because these type of videos are what, like, is what originally got me in. And it's all trick shots in this video, too. Yeah, I'm trying to ignore the clips. (laughs) This video, this video, I'm personally ignoring the clips, obviously. I'm not using the clips to judge. I will say I'm, that. I'm, I will say I'm that. Using, it works with the song so well. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I am paying attention to, like, how the clips work with the... with the music and what he did with them. Um, but not exactly... not with what's happening in them. I do see what you're saying. So I'd say this... It is almost cliche, but it's hard to do. But there's just a lot of montages that have this exact pacing. Yeah. And it's there's nothing bad about it, and it looks good. That that actually is my thing with modern day or like things that came in the last like five years, I guess you could say. Montages is that uh, the really like quote unquote professional looking ones are the ones that you would see get put up on a big YouTuber's channel, they all have this, uh, the same look and feel. They, like, you see how with the longbow shot, how it zooms in and out like that? Like, it just cuts the shot in and out like that? That, honestly, is probably, like, probably 80% of the time, I don't like 